Hi guys, how are you? So today I'm going to talk briefly about relationships and just some elements that I have been noticing that has been permeating the concerns of my clients. Um, the, how, how superficial the relationships today they have been becoming due to the fast pace that life has also become. And it's so important that we look at relationships as not only romantic, but even family, friends, uh, as a tree that if we are not patient enough, that tree is not going to grow. We cannot just, you know, uh, build and put the seeds in the ground and just, you know, collect it in the next day. Uh, we need to be patient and be tolerant with the time that that relationship needs to be uh, built and needs to grow. Uh, of course, we need to cultivate, have the right soil, right uh, time, right weather, and, and of course water for that tree to really grow and, and is strong and, and more consistent. That's the same way with relationships. If we hurry up, we will not be able to really see the tree growing in the full potential that it can. Uh, sometimes the real necessity that we have to really see things happening to fulfill our uh, emptiness will actually sabotage that possibility of seeing things uh, really building the consistency that it needs to build like a tree. We need to have patience and uh, we need to allow time for it to be growing. As much more we accelerate things, more we lose balance. Velocity and balance is not a good combination. If we accelerate and we put power, the balance will be uh, affected. The same way is uh, with relationships. As much more we try to uh, connect in an intense way without really getting to know the field, we might found a very um, bad field to plant our seeds, right? And so it's important that we give enough time for us to get to know um, people, relationships, and, and so then the connections can really happen or not happen, and that's part of life also. So uh, based on our fears, a lot of times we are making decisions and um, accelerating that process, and the fear, I used to tell clients that, um, make us be in our knees you know, um, with the impulses and with the desires. So the fear will put us in our knees with impulses and, and desires that we, uh, that we have. So it's so important that we don't really allow the fear to be uh, the agent of our decisions, not even in, of course, relationships, especially actually, because we will and decide things based on a urge, based on a impulse, based on a necessity that we have, not even really based on a discerning a mind. You know, our mind will not really discern so well when our emotional mind is making that decision for us. So if we want a long lasting relationship, we need to have in first place one long lasting consistent trustworthy relationship with oneself in knowing that we are uh, special enough to not really just connect with in any any kind of way with whoever um, is out there for us to connect you know it needs time in this dedication is effort and it's not with everybody that we need to spend our energy and in, in, in engage in that connection because sometimes that person is not in a phase to connect with us the same way that we wish to connect. And so it will put a bad taste in our mouth and will make us feel that we wasted time or that we are not good enough. That's, that, that's why this person didn't want to stay with me or didn't want to connect in the same way that I did. And all it is is very subjective. 
is not either or. So I believe that uh, if we really allow oneself to slow down and to do things uh, by a better perspective, creating perspective of the situation, we will assert more in finding our connection, in finding you know a person to to uh, to, to to be our partners or, or friends or. You know, we just need to take a little, a little time for it to happen. Okay, not allow the desperation or even the fear to make decisions for us. It will make us decide for things that will really not be consistent and will really not be what we are looking for. Okay, so try to have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you soon. Thank you so much. Bye bye.